Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Blender tutorial by Bugalug. And this, I know, bad software still. Um, but I might just move that sweater a little so you can see a bit more. Um, today I'm going to be doing some more freestyle stuff. Just we're actually making something today. Um, and so yeah, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to switch to or, uh, orthographic view, which is here. And if you go to you view tab, that's, that's where you can find it. And if you have if you have a numpad, I don't. You can just change by pressing five on your numpad, or you can and then you can change your view by all that. Um, so if I press one, then that just does that. Uh, but then if I just go view and go front view, there you go. And today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be modeling a T-Rex. So I'm going to come back with a good reference image of a T-Rex. So yeah, I've just decided to model one now. Um, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got a good record, uh, reference image. So what we're going to do is we're going to X and go delete. And we're just going to add an... I'm going to add an, an empty, a plain axis, and what we're going to do is just scroll there if you want, and then just go into the empty tab, and change it to an image, we're going to open the image that we got, I got a really nice image, um, this one, so click on that, and go open image, it's a really nice T-Rex image, good for referencing, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go to left view, and we're just going to rotate it using R, and then we're going to rotate it so it's on the x-axis. And then we can scale it up. And we sort of want it so that the T-Rex's feet are sort of on the x-axis, so we're going to front view, and yeah, that's about right. And then we can move it aside a bit. So now when we just go to the, the top view for a sec, so now when we, we're going to place our, our cube about there, but don't do that just yet. What we're going to do is shift D and left click to cancel. And then we're just going to get this one transparency down to about something like, how about 332, three, that'll, that'll be enough. And now, just when we add a cube, just add a cube, it'll sort of, no, okay, uh, well, we can just change the transparency, parency down a bit, or right, anyway, we just go front view, we got our, we got our image, so now what we're going to do, drag this out, uh, sort of match it up with it, we scale it down a bit, Bring it up, scale a bit more. Bring it up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to edit mode, go control R, add a loop cut there, left click. And then we're just going to select all of these, and I'm pressing C to get that, left click to cancel. And then we just select all of those and go X, and vertices. Then what we do is we go into our modifiers tab. We go, we click on that, and add a mirror modifier. Okay? We're going to get rid of that one and put it on the Y axis. Alright, so now whatever we do on this side, it'll repeat on the other side. And we're going to turn on clipping for this. So go back into front view, turn this little icon down here so that we can grab all of the vertices. So if we just C and do that, then we grab them all. Okay? So. Now what we're going to do is we're sort of going to just model it out, really. Just sort of do a, a bit of reference stuff. Scale it down, maybe. Do this, even, even just rotate it a bit. And then we're going to extrude. So we got sort of a neck. Uh, sorry, cancel that. Control Z. Uh, 
um, to cancel, and then we're just gonna do that for now for the head. And we can even scale it on the z-axis a bit, just like that. Do that. There we go. And I'm gonna add a few loop cuts, so like that. Um, and you can hold down the middle mouse button, and it will deselect. And we can sort of do this and do that. A good tip is sort of use all your vertices. I learned that from a very good Blender artist person. He made a raptor. He told me how to make that other raptor. I don't know if I showed you that. And that's sort of like a bit of flesh there. So I can sort of just leave that. And then what we can do is just grab all of those and bring them up. So that here as well. Try and make these ones straight kind of thing because that's going to be the tail and then we're going to add another whoops i'm sorry control z and then we're going to add another loop cut there and then we're just going to scale on the z-axis like that and that over here do this select all those grab them and move them up a little bit uh select all those grab them and move them more that way and now we'll just extrude out the tail so we'll just sorry go like do that just e and then we can just scale it down a bit it'll probably be scaled down maybe scale up a little more like that and then we're just gonna extrude more till it gets to about there Scale, scale way down like that. And then we're going to add a loop cut about here, like that. And then we're just going to sort of move everything into place. Uh, sorry, control Z. Control, there we go. And then we just sort of, it's G for grab again, if, if you want to know. And then we can sort of just grab things and move them around a bit so now we've got sort of a good shape we can sort of bring these all in so deselect those like think about that and then probably bring it all in just deselect those if you want, you can sort of turn it on and off as, as you go. And then we'll just bring all that in. That's sort of going to be um, a bigger area. Because that's where the legs are going to be. So, just bring that in a bit more. Maybe bring that out. So, we've sort of got a good shape going here. I've only got a few more minutes of recording left, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to turn this off, grab all these vertices, and just grab all of them. And again, I'm holding Shift, or you can box select just B. That's all it is. Do that, I reckon. Yep, and then we can just scale on the Z axis sort of smooth it out a bit. As you can see, it's, it really smooths it out. It works. It works nice. But we can, some of them, as you can see, need to be um, fixed up a little bit. I'm going to move this one. You can even just bring a few down like that okay you can even add some more um just get a front view we can even add some more um edge loops some one there about there grab it put it up just do this 
Bring that one down just about there. Do that. Maybe even add another one. Grab that up. Probably sort of move that a bit. No, 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 line it up really so that's 90 degrees or whatever we, we could say 90 degrees but then it'll maybe negative 90 no that'll that'll do actually so anyway we'll just e and just bring that all the way out to the end there scale it down bring it down till that there or something and then can bring these ones up just about there and then sort of just get them on the bottom of the jawline add an edge loop uh, probably about there grab it um Sort of align it with the jawline a bit more. Uh, now we can align this with the eye. Should have an edge loop there. Sort of bring this down a bit. Maybe this one side. That can bring that up, and then what we can do is we can just E do that and just scale it way down. And now, what we can do is we've only got a few minutes left, but we can do this. And we'll add an edge loop probably, yeah, throughout the whole body kind of thing and just sort of get it looking like what a T-Rex's mouth would look like, which I guess is something like that, maybe. So anyway, this is part one of making a T-Rex in Blender 2.67, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be making more tutorials, hopefully with better software, and probably in Christmas I might be getting better software, um, so I'll just tab out of that. Probably at Christmas I might be getting better software because I might be getting a new computer. Uh, this is my school computer again, I don't know if I said it before. But, that is me out, and I will be doing gaming videos, like I might be doing some Slender stuff, whatever, I just need better software, really, that's, that's all I need <laughs> to do this kind of stuff. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, um, Bug Lug out.